Hi, my name is Micah Peterson, and I'm a solution specialist with Microdesk in the architecture and the media and entertainment departments. And this is the first video in a series of three on the installation procedures for AutoCAD 2012. Uh, I started out this video by uh, unzipping the file that you download from either the subscription center, uh, one team, or from various other download uh, locations. And, or you can run it from your DVD or your USB drive, depending on how it was delivered to you. Uh, you'll get these extracted files, and then I'll run the setup.exe file. And then we have our install uh, main page here. Uh, it's a nice black background, as of, of course, obviously, all of the backgrounds change. But I do like the theme. It's very dark. Uh, I like it. It's a nice kind of uh, transparent glass theme for most of the buttons. We have our English option here because it's an English installation. And for this video, we'll only be going over these links down below, as well as the install tools and utilities link. So for any of these three, the installation help, system requirements, or the readme link, it opens up to the local file here, and each of these links then will go to the Autodesk Exchange location. So if we click on the installation and deployment frequently asked questions document, you go to exchange.autodesk.com for AutoCAD, and I'm assuming that these will be built upon for each piece of software. So Revit will have its own Exchange site, Civil 3D, Inventor, etc. So this is a very nice system. I'm, I'm impressed by the degree that which, of which help has increased over recent years, and 2012 is no exception. Uh, if you go to search, uh, it does do a nice job of searching everywhere. However, if you search for something like inventor with a misspelled E at the end, it doesn't give you any kind of help here. So make sure that when you're searching through this in the help document, there is a lot of information there. Just make sure you spell it correctly. And that's for installation help. Again, you have your network admin guide, licensing guide, as well as your troubleshooting installation issues. These are all very nice. They have a lot of good information, very concise. Then you have your system requirements, which gives you the system requirements for the 32-bit and the 64-bit versions of AutoCAD. And then we have our README, which gives us just some additional instructions uh, regarding the installation. Now the Install Tools and Utilities link here click on this, you'll get a few options, and it does kind of take a second to load up. And these are more that uh, your CAD manager or your BIM manager will be installing for you. Uh, most users more than likely will not be using the install tools and utilities link. Now this first one here is a network license manager that's already installed uh, because I do have another version of 2012 installed on my machine. Uh, this is just for licensing. The CAD manager tools is the same tools that has been available all along uh, for most uh, pieces of software in, in uh, AutoCAD. Now for the Autodesk content service, uh, this is the ability for you to uh, create machines and have machines on your network that are indexed so that when you are directing the content browser within Autodesk software, it will be able to search these networked machines very quickly because they are already indexed with this service. So by default, if you install AutoCAD 2012 on your machine, it automatically installs Autodesk Content Service, which index, indexes all of the content you have, your drawing files, your uh, fonts, your uh, blocks, various design files that you have. And it allows you to search very quickly for those files. You can also install this on a machine that doesn't have AutoCAD and I'll turn it into a public service which allows for any machine that uses the content uh, browser to look for those uh, machines and to have them automatically indexed. So it's a very quick service. It allows it to, uh, you to have multiple servers with lots of content without actually having to install AutoCAD as well. So a pretty handy feature. Again, it's already installed and will be installed no matter what uh, if you have any Autodesk 2012 product installed, which I happen to have Inventor in the background, so that's why mine's installed. Finally, you choose what path you have here, and you can browse for a different one. Currently, 1.34 megabytes required here, and that's about it.